Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to show you how to create three different cards with Santa Claus on top. And here is a quick look on all the three cards that I will be creating today. Now the difference is that instead of using uh, stamps for my Santa Claus, I, I am going to use digital images. And I'm going to show you why I love them and uh, three advantages that you can get that um, it's not possible by using uh, stamps. So for today I was asked by Graphics Talk to showcase their website and uh, this is a sponsored video. Of course I said yes, after all I use their website for all my digital image needs and you have probably seen me using uh, some of their images on my art journal projects. And before I start, I just want to let you know that you can go to graphicstock.com slash holidays and, uh, or you can click the link in the description box below and you will get $50 off one year of graphic stock, which is a really great deal because they normally have a $99 uh, subscription for a year. But with this discount, you practically are paying half the price. So now one reason that I love digital images is that you can flip them. It's super easy to flip them and you can create lots of uh, spinner cards. So first of all, I'm going to go to the search uh, field there and I'm going to look for Santa Claus images. As I scroll down, you will see how many images I end up getting. And what I really love about graphic stock is not only that uh, the, all the images are royalty free, but uh, you also get unlimited downloads for one flat annual fee, while other websites would uh, normally charge you by the image download. So you can see how many pages I end up getting with lots of these results. Now I'm going to go back again and now look for Santa Claus images, but uh, images that I, they are vectors. Now vectors have uh, a very special uh, advantage, which I am going to show you later on. So I'm going to look for a Santa that I can use on my spinner card. Now, in every spinner card, you need two faces of the image, and uh, those faces have to be mirrored images so that you can stick them back to back. So, now I decided to use the first Santa here. I'm going to click on it and then download it. You see that you get three different formats. I am going for the PNG one and I'm going to open it with my Photoshop. Now, this is not a Photoshop tutorial, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to flip the image. So you can see that I have my Santa here and I have copied one more time. I have two Santas. I'm going to click the second one, click right click on top of him and just flip horizontal. So I end up with two mirror the images that I can print out and then um, create my spinner card. So let's see how I created that. Now I have used my printer and I have my two mirrored images on this uh, cardstock and uh, I am going to use my scissors to cut them out. Now if you have a scan and cut or any type of digital uh, cutter, this uh, process is going to be even easier. Now I want to embellish my Santas a little bit and that's why I am going to add some sparkle on his beard, his moustache and all the white parts on his um, costume. So I am using my Versamark pen. This works as a Versamark ink. I am applying ink on all the parts that I want to and then I'm going to apply my embossing powder. This is an embossing powder by Nuvo and it has uh, glitter inside. So once I melt everything you will see that it's going to be super shiny and I'm going to repeat the same process for the other Santa. I am using my heat gun to melt the embossing powder and I hope that I can catch the light for you so you can see how sparkly my Santa is now. In any case, you can see a close-up photo later on at the end of the video. I used my scissors to cut out my Santas and now I'm using my marker to darken up his boots because I thought that uh, they were too light. By the way, I used Heavy Cardstock by Simon Says Tam to print my images and I'm going to link you down below on uh, the cardstock that I have used. And now I'm looking through my dies. I am going to try and find the correct die that will uh, go around my Santa. And then I'm going to look for a rectangle die as well. So I am using those dies which are by Tonic Studios and... Um, I'm going with one that has a scallop edge, so I'm just trying to decide which one I'm going to use. 
which is going to be big enough to cut out a circle on the inside. So I decided to go with those two and I'm going to use my die cutting machine to cut out a pattern paper. This is a pattern paper with a very subtle uh, design which is on uh, red and uh, white. I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to place my um, uh, panel on top of my card base. I am working with a standard card base that's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. And uh, I have created that out of a uh, satin cardstock that's looking really beautiful. This comes from this craft paper uh, collection and it's by Tonic Studios. That's called Scarlet Organza Satin Effect. By the way, this is uh, available in the UK. I'm not sure if it's uh, already available in the US, but in any case, I'm going to make sure that I link you down below on where you can find it online. So I'm going to place one on top of the other and secure them together. Notice that I am not sticking one on top of the other permanently and I am going to place my die on top and while I am going to pass it through my scissors expansion I am going to make sure that I open up the card so I don't cut out the back of my card. And now that I have all my parts ready, it's time to assemble my card. I'm going to take away those uh, die cuts, so I end up with those holes, and this is where I'm going to place my sander. So I am going to put some uh, tape adhesive, that strong tape adhesive, at the back of uh, both my sanders, and then I'm going to use a thread. And I'm going with a golden thread here. I'm going to place it where I have built off the tape adhesive at the back. And on the other Santa, I'm going to peel off uh, the tape from uh, the middle. And I'm also going to apply some uh, glue all around. Now for my glue I'm using uh, a glue pen by Nuvo. I'm going to make sure that I have uh, plenty all over since I don't want uh, some of those parts to stick out. And then I'm going to place one on top of the other, making sure that uh, they align perfectly. So I have uh, the spinner part of my card ready. And I think that's looking really cute. So now all I have to do is to assemble the main part of my card. So this is where that uh, spinner is going to go. I'm going to apply some uh, strong tape adhesive at the top and at the bottom of uh, where I am planning to stick the string. And I'm also going to apply some tape adhesive at uh, the top panel of my card. This is going to cover up all the mess. So I have peeled off my tape adhesive. I'm going to place the Santa exactly where I want to. I'm trying to place him as centered as I can. I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess thread and then I'm going to make sure that I align both those holes perfectly. Now to finish off my card I have uh, die cut the word greetings and I have also die cut uh, this ring by using my circle dies. I am adding some uh, glue at the back with my glue pen and this is going uh, to finish off that hole there. And I'm also going to add some uh, glue at the back of uh, the word greetings and stick it at the very bottom of my card. And of course I will not forget to add the dot from the, for the, from the letter I. And this is how the card is looking at the moment. And just because I cannot uh, finish with little details, I decided to add some uh, glossy accents on his eyes. And then I'm going to stick on top those uh, googly eyes that I have. They are really tiny and uh, they fit him perfectly. I think the card is hilarious and as uh, the Santa is spinning, his eyes are um, googly and go up and down. It's so funny. I think this is a perfect card for a little boy or a girl. So I'm going to demonstrate how it works. You just spin all the way. And then you can put it on the envelope and when the recipient gets the card, he can see Santa spinning. And I would go ahead and uh, write my sentiment at the very bottom on the inside of the card. So this way when you have the card closed you cannot see what it says on the inside. 
So now let's move on to the second card where I took advantage of the possibility to resize your digital images and uh, I have used one of the images that I have found in graphic stock and I have resized it so that it takes up the most, most of the space on my card base and uh, I am going to link you down below on all the images that I have used for all those three cards and uh, you can find the exact same ones. So as you can see, I'm using this hilarious image of uh, Santa skiing and uh, as his uh, skis, he actually has candy cane. I think that's a really adorable image and I decided to make it quite big. I am using my scissors to cut it out and as I am cutting it out, I'm making sure that I leave a white border all around. This is going to be a very simple design. I'm using my Sizzix machine and I am going to emboss using this very old folder. I'm not sure if it's still available. I'm going to try and find it online and I'm going to, to link you down below if that's possible. But in any case, it's a, um, an embossing folder by Cuttlebug that has uh, beautiful uh, snowflakes on top. I'm going to uh, pass it through my die cutting machine and I am using craft colored cardstock. So I hope you can see the beautiful emboss there. And that was a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I have also used my hillside uh, dies by Lone Phone to cut out this snow bank. That's just white uh, paper. And I'm going to add some uh, foam tip at the back and stick it at the very bottom of my card. And since this piece of paper is quite big, I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess. Now a great color combination for uh, Christmas cards uh, that I really love is craft with white and uh, red. I think that's a perfect uh, combination. So I am going to stick my Santa down and I have used foam tape at the back. So I have a little bit of dimension there. And I think that uh, really uh, looks as if Santa is coming out of the page. So I just need to add some sparkle. I'm using my clear Wink of Stella glitter pen on uh, many parts of this image. And to finish it off, I'm also going to use some uh, glossy accents on his eyes. And I think this is the perfect card for anyone who loves funny cards. Now, for the sentiment, you can just stamp it or add whatever you like on the inside of the card, or you can use the uh, empty space at the very bottom, just like I am doing here. And I'm going to stamp ho, ho, ho. I am stamping with a uh, Tuxedo Black ink. And my card is finished. So now let's move on to the third card for today. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to create shadow boxes or cards with many layers when you are working with digital images. So I am back to the website and I'm looking for winter backgrounds with Santa Claus. And uh, after searching, I am going to decide which one I like best. And you can see that you can pretty much... Uh, uh, get any one of those and create your own cards. It's that simple. I went with uh, the Santa that is making uh, snow angels and uh, I am going to download the PSD file which is perfect for my Photoshop. I like to use Photoshop. So here it is opened on the Photoshop and if you look on the right you will see that there are uh, tiny little images of an eye. Now these are different layers of the image and as I click on them I can see all those different layers and uh, so I can uh, turn off some of them and have only Santa and print out only Santa or I can have only the background and print out only the background. So you can imagine all the different layers that you can get, especially from a more complicated scene that has uh, mountains at the back and uh, the sky or it has uh, snowbanks at the front and the Santa and even a village. You can create pretty much a shadow box by just printing out all the different layers. In my case, I'm going for a very easy uh, demo today. So I am going to cut out um, the background, the snow background. As always, I am using my scissors to cut around my Santa. While I am cutting, I'm making sure that I leave a white border all around. 
This is going to make him look more finished and uh, as if it was a ready-made cutout. You can see how nicely it fits on top of my background. And uh, at the back I'm going to add some foam tape. And uh, this is going to be a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. It's going to be to be a very simple card, but you will see that I am going to add a fun element. So my card base is white. I'm going to stick that on top. It's uh, slightly smaller than the standard card, which means that it's going to leave a white border all around. And now, of course, you can stick the Santa with a foam square at the back to add some dimension or you can make it even more fun and add a wobble just like I'm going to do now. This is a little spring that I'm going to stick at the back and uh, it's going to help Santa to move around. Now, uh, just because this is uh, slightly bigger than I want to, I'm going to use my scissors to cut out a little bit from the sides. Of course, there are a smaller wobbles that I don't have at hand right now so I'm just going to make sure that this is going to fit my needs. That spring has adhesive on both sides so I'm going to make sure that I stick it at the center back of my Santa and uh, making sure that it doesn't stick out and I'm also going to peel off the other side of uh, the wobble and stick it directly on top of my card base. And now you can see Santa moving as he is making the perfect snow angel. I am going to leave it clean and simple as it is now and I decided not to stamp or add any type of sentiment. I'm going to write down whatever I want to on the inside of the card. To finish it off, again I'm using some clear Wink of Stella glitter pen to add a little bit of uh, glitter on uh, the red parts of his costume and I'm also going to use some uh, glossy accents on his belt as well as the boots. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to take advantage of the discount, if you decide to subscribe for Shutterstock, you will find the link down below in the description area. Thank you all for watching!